What's going on everybody? Sin here. You welcome back to In for the Win. We're playing our new Embark Arch Fences in our new world, the realm of vision. And uh we're gonna just gonna kinda be going over some more planning today. So I spent some time off screen just planning the base. I haven't even had the game unpaused. I've just been thinking about what I can or cannot do with a base. I've played around with water somewhat. So what we want to talk about is, you know, using your layers. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of more efficient ways, but I find what's been working for me. So when playing with water, you want to leave yourself space. That's that's how I looked at it. Uh, you don't really you want to. You don't want to run into your existing rooms and have to, you know, block stuff off. So I've kind of designated this floor elevation 37 as water. I'm not going to build anything above and below it. As you can see right below it, there's our kind of storage area, temporary mining section. So we're not going to do a bunch of water today, but the whole idea behind this is then I don't know. I use blueprints, right? But now you can like plan where you want your water to run, right? I mean, I often do it in blue so the guys don't actually dig. But so for example, um, we have water on our surface, so we could bring the water down if we wanted to, right? So what you could do something along the lines of, I mean, you don't have to channel, but you could just kind of select a dig command and it'll, it'll help you plan out like so we know okay the water is going to come in approximately there unless we want to bring it on this other side of the, the the lake and then we can figure out where we want to run our water right so i've i've done a little planning as you can see here this is gonna i kind of worked on you know a little more usable space uh rather than wasting all this uh space down here with just two rooms so i made these other little mini rooms that i mean uh they're not super spacious but you'll be able to put a door a bed a coffin i mean a coffer and a cabinet so it'll work as a room absolutely so we'll be able to get a bunch of rooms uh right above the stockpiles i mean uh, the workshops and then down below we'll have our stockpile areas so i also kind of went ahead i mean we'll open these up as storage and then what i was thinking is this will be kind of our little tavern you know it's a mug right you drink you drink and then so i mean in the future i don't know if this is going to be our long-term tavern or what but what i would like to try and do and this may be over ambitious is i'd like to carve up like a kind of like a large opening like a cavern that's not actually a cavern layer and so what i kind of went ahead and did was plan out this little uh diamond shape that's going to go down and down and down and down now we could run into caverns and that can propose issues but hey that's kind of how the game goes so there's a couple other things i did um i just kind of decided i wanted to do something uh, at least if i'm going to do it symmetrical i want to do it something different so i i tried to put everything on an angle um and we'll see we'll kind of follow this pattern here and so realistically my plan kind of for this is is these are going to be like big pillars and so what i think i was going to do is kind of hollow this entire area on the edges and around here so you'll have a bridge going across here and then we can have uh various rooms on the outside and like what i would like to do is have like windows or whatever and the doors looking into the cat or into the uh, chasm or whatever you want to call it that we've made and then uh hopefully we don't hit the cavern by here but then i want to do is eventually go right down to the cavern layer and have it you know visible um hey forget the odd giant bat flying up that's their problem i left these areas blank as uh kind of a pillar you know i think what we'll i'll do is i'll be smoothing these all the way down and then it kind of yeah it just goes up to to a peak you know so this is like the tip of the roof right and then it just expands down um yeah so that's kind of what i had in mind so i was playing around here and i want to have a cutoff point as well uh it seems like that's a really valid way of defending your base um sometimes i want to play 
uh, base defense and other times I just want to play colony sim you know sometimes I want to keep them separate so I think in reality what I'm going to do here is I played around with uh, a spiral ramp idea so I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a spiraling ramp that goes down this center point here we're not actually going to mine this this out this is going to stay solid and then we're going to mine through this section here and we'll have a nice like kind of main entrance way and then I think we're gonna build a tower right on top of here and then in the end what we'll do is we'll close this area off completely we'll, we'll, we'll cover this up and this will not be accessible we'll probably just put a road over it that leads over here and uh, yeah that's kind of my main plan but then we'll still have a set of stairs here to it's kind of as a secondary walkway and what we're going to do in the middle is we're going to have uh, like a like a set of, set of stairs, uh, a main pillar right here that goes up and down. And I think in reality, we'll have this stretch down to the cavern layer or something. We'll figure that out as we go. And then so the other idea, yeah, is that um, this here will make it as a bridge. We'll make it as a retractable bridge or a drawbridge, one of the two. And we're going to dig out a fairly deep uh, pit down here actually maybe what we'll do yeah yeah we'll keep the spiral going down that's how we'll enter the cavern we'll keep this entire area if we can separate from the stairs to the cavern and then we'll have a bridge right here that we'll be able to retract and separate completely from the entrance to the fort and the entrance to the cavern so i think that's a uh, pretty solid plan of attack um and then yeah so we'll have We'll have these stairs extending up and down. Um, now, I'm not going to worry too much about that right off the get-go. We just want to make sure our dwarves are functioning and happy for the most part. So we can get more uh, migrants to show up. And we can just make our base more efficient. So, where are we at? We've got... We've got storage for wood and metal and stone, and that's for the lignite, correct? And we could hollow this out for now. We could actually put more storage up here, too. Yeah, so that's what I think we'll do. That's going to be like backup storage. Or should we put... Okay, well, I think the first thing I want to do is I want them to have places to sleep and a place to chill and party so that's a tavern and i think so what we'll do is we're gonna go over here to our blueprints and we're gonna not do that we're gonna do this one i believe and we're gonna make them dig out i'm gonna make them dig out all of this oops this one this one there we go um, if we make them dig out all of these, I'm not sure we'll do that just to make it even. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve bedrooms right there. Uh, we'll have them dig out that area, but actually, you know, what we really need them to do is dig out an office for our. Uh... Okay, let's put an office here. What do we have to work with? Let's put a little tiny office right there. We'll make that a little tiny office. And uh, do we have a throne built yet? I know. I, I was pretty sure I told somebody to make a throne. We'll see what happens. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so once they dig out that area there. Oh, yeah. Let's check out. Uh, somebody gave me a helpful comment. So plant gatherers. See, we could change this to just a couple of people to do plant gathering and then planters only select to do this as well okay yeah we'll take uh you off of there hopefully then actually then what about do we have a dedicated miner we do have one dedicated miner now good okay and then so oh there we go look at that we already got some migrants perfect Actually, I want, I want you to prioritize mining this one right here. Mine that for me right now. 
do it. Somebody do it. Furniture, throw our chair down. Don't have to be fancy. He just needs a spot to sit. And then we'll turn that into our office so uh, we can assign our expedition leader as our manager and our broker and our bookkeeper. I was like, I don't remember giving that other guy all those skills. Or was that a new guy? Anyways, our expedition leader will sign that to Iteb. And then now we can do our work orders. So I'm just gonna do my basic ones really quick just to make sure we're we're going. I, I heard there's a feature that in DF hack maybe that you're allowed to save and import and export work orders or something. I kind of looked around and I didn't see anything. Maybe it's not available yet. Um, if it's in there and I'm just not finding it, I would really appreciate it. Somebody could let me know in the comments where it's at. Um, Cause yeah, I would love to be able to have just a base of my like eight BPs that I need all the time, like wooden bin. Actually, no, I need bed first. Bed. And then wooden barrel. And then rock door. Oops. And then I think rock block is the next one I want. Rock blocks. To me, those are all like the things that keeps your base running. So we'll keep that at 10. And we'll say we want uh, 200 drink. And I don't worry about all these because I find whatever. You, you're, you get so many error messages anyways. If you want to read through every error, error message that you get. I You might be able to narrow it down and, and not make sure this happens. But yeah, I'm just going to set the drink threshold and not be too picky about it. Um, so drink 200 for plant and for fruit. And then we'll do... I think we'll just set these all as two right now. And then I like to do, I used to do two, but I, I like to do three now. I like to have a few stockpiles of things. So we're gonna have available three. So in my mind, they'll make two and then they're still less than three. So they'll make another two. So we'll kind of have four of everything sitting on standby. And again, you could separate logs, but the one thing that is what well, we'll go over in a quick second is that now that DF hack is here, you can set up auto chop, which like in my mind is, is so ridiculously handy. Uh, so rock blocks. So now rock blocks are the one I like to do as like make 12 because every three blocks. Um, oh wait, no, we want rock blocks is less than uh 100 and then I like to keep a threshold on blocks because blocks are not essential for your economy so if like if all of a sudden you're running out of hard rock and you just don't have any in your stockpiles they'll use all of it and you won't be able to craft the stuff that you need so I'd say 30 oops try that again 30 so I want to keep at least 30 hard rock and then otherwise you guys make uh, 100 up to 100 rock blocks so that'll keep them going i'm gonna just move the beds up first actually yeah 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 move the beds up first that's gonna give the dwarves something to do for now and then i guess we want to set up i'm gonna set up a little dining hall i guess Dining hall. Oops, no, I don't, I don't need that high priority. Set up a dining hall here like this. Uh, yeah, we'll put two entrances there. And then, yeah, you guys can dig that out there. And dig that out there. And then that'll be our nice little mug shaped uh, tavern. So, what else do we need for. I guess we need a temple for them to pray in. So that's our workshop area. It's a storage area. Why don't we build... They've already mined down here. So let's open this up a bit. This is going to be our hallway. Actually, let's really quick. When you go into Dwarf DF Hack, you can go to Auto Chop here. Or there's a GUI. I think if you type GUI 
auto chop and then you hit enter it's going to go in here so you can enable auto chop and we can just say the target number of logs is oops not 1200 100 um and i'm not i think you can set it up per burrow so we've got 26 in stock so they're going to go chop some more uh and i could designate trees i can undesignate all trees all right we'll we'll let that happen and and in theory those guys will run out there oh they're gonna chop down the big big tree uh oh no i guess that's the uh built-in hazard of auto chop you don't get to designate which ones they which ones you want them to chop okay so they're gonna dig down a bit and then yeah we'll open that one up and we'll build a temple here um the one thing i really dislike is making doors on an entryway like this it just does not look good so you so i find you just kind of have to have to branch out like if I put one here and I make a single no, I just don't like it. I just can't can't do that. But I could make make a double entrance way like that. And then try and keep our uh, angle. He's on it though to see where he's what shape we got going on here okay okay so i bet I, oh i did set some layers uh let's go rock altar prioritize that above the blocks okay yeah you dig out that i'm gonna put on blueprint while i plan out what i actually want to do I guess we could just make it like a long uh, hallway, but because that one goes one to two over. No, I don't like that. Actually, yeah, we'll just make it. Uh, Yeah, we'll do something like that. That'll be our temple. Do I have any doors? Actually, no, we'll save our doors for the bedrooms. Uh, keep building, use closest. So, I don't know if more space makes them happy, but we're going to go like that and like that and like that. And then I want them to... Oh, actually, no, I don't want to put one here. I want to, though, actually, I want to select that chalk block, chalk block. I guess we'll use pink for that one, because pink looks good with the white. Okay, there we go, and then we can, did they make the beds already? Put a bed there. Yeah, they did. So use closest material. Bed. 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 Okay. Couple doors. Keep them, keep them as happy as we can. So, uh, bedroom, multi. Done. Four bed. Oops, I don't have a door there. So, that looks awful. I think it'll just fix it once I uh, put that once I put that door in. I think it'll automatically adjust itself. Nope. You are not part of that bedroom. And you're part of that bedroom. Okay. So yeah, it's a little tight, but uh, but it works. It works. I'm okay with. Uh, it looks a little different too, right? It's not uh, it's not the same old, same old. Bad, bad. Okay, so they're not they're not crafting fast enough. But anyways, so then we want to. I guess I can make now rock table. Rock 
grown. I always do that. Okay, so we only want you to make two and two, and we'll do the same thing. Three and three. Okay, because I'm pretty sure you need one table and one chair per person. You can't just put four chairs around one table. I don't think that works. Okay, so then we'll get these guys to mine out our tavern area. Um, do I have to enclose? I don't think I have to enclose a dormitory. No, that, wait, that's not a dormitory. That's a dining hall. I don't need a dormitory yet. Ooh, there's some coal there. And some coal there. Now we won't worry about it at this moment. I think we got enough of that. Um, so we've got our stone workers, we've got our carpenters, we've got our craft dwarfs. Um, we'll let them focus on this area here. And I'm just gonna do my uh, my oh so favorite method of putting a uh, kitchen right inside our our uh, select material. Put a kitchen in there. Let's, I only got one clay stone, so we'll do this out of uh, chalk. And then get this one done quick. We'll put up another still in there. Farming still. And we'll do this one out of chalk as well. Oh yeah, we got chalk blocks we could be using. Okay, do we got any more beds? Furniture, beds, bed there. Um, doot, 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 doot. I guess we're moving over to this side now. Door. Uh, you got a door there. You got a door there. And then... What do you mean no? Oh, we haven't dug that out. So I guess we need to get some access to that. Have we dug that out? It looks like we have. Interesting. Okay, let's build stairs here. Going, uh, select material. I don't know why that's not working. Let's try this again. Construction, stairs. If I start here. Well, I'm trying to span multiple elevations. Fine. Just fine. We'll figure that out in a second here. Because I got access to this one, no problem. Find that out right now. Do it. Get her done. Okay. So then, where's our temple? Uh, furniture offering place. Put that right there. And then I want to add rock statue to our to our agenda. Same deal. Two and three. My favorite combo for now, anyways. Um, uh, yeah, that's kind of a nice little, nice little temple design. Um, I still got room for hauling goodies. How much logs are you allowed to stack per tile? This is almond wood logs. Doesn't tell you how much. Oops. Let's pause it too. Let's, uh... Okay, he's digging that out. Can we try that now? Construction. Stairs. Starting there. Move it up. There we go! I don't know why that was so tough before. Oh, wait. Do I want it to go all the way up? Well, I think that's okay. Or maybe I should just... Chop. Oops, I should have done chop block. Whatever! Life's too short. Select closest. Door. Door. Uh, I'm not building them very fast. Bed. Alright, we can get a bed there, though. Um, bedroom. Multi. Add three more. Okay, so now that we've got our section open here, we are going to... The stockpile, buy the still, for custom, and drink. And then, think, we're gonna put 
stockpile here for custom. Should we just do... Yeah, let's do it like this. We'll do prepared meals only there. And then we're going to set up another little storage section back here and utilize this spot as food. But no prepared meal, no drink, and no seeds. Okay. And then so we want to... Easy meal. Prepare five. I'd just like to do five meals for now. If prepared meals is less than, uh, let's just say 30 for now. I feel like that you only need like two meals a, two meals a year or two meals a season. I can't remember what it is, but they're going to check that every day to make sure they're cooking. So we're not cooking seeds. That's, that's the important part. Uh, furniture, chair. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's just wrong. That is just wrong. Uh, furniture, uh, table. One, two, three. No, I only got two right now. Furniture, chair. One, two. Okay. And then, I think I need doors. Do I need doors on the... Well, whether or not we need them, we have them. So then this zone is going to be our dining hall. Done. And then this section is going to be our meeting area. Like that. And we're going to just get rid of all that there. Except uh, inn and tavern. And this is going to be for... Citizens only. And then so... I don't think we're making chests and cabinets yet. I should probably add that to the agenda as well. Did they make a door that quick? No, I didn't think so. Okay, but it looks like... Yep, that's all going well. Great. So then... Probably just get them to start digging stuff out here. Just for ease of access but i think this is kind of working ideally they might they might have to travel a bit to yeah see we're running out of rock already we have to start mining stuff up. okay let's just go like that then uh, actually i want to cancel these beds and get rid of this dormitory now we are going to build another dormitory in a second but uh i just want it out of the hallway and then to keep our dwarves busy let's have them dig out that there and that there and then let's have them finish digging out that and that and this whole section here for ease of access so we're going to set this area as our uh meeting area just start it right here except new temple no specific deity but only for citizens okay and then yep that should work there now what do i got for wildlife do i i thought i had some right i brought chicks and hens so i haven't really messed around with them but I've got them in a pen and pasture there. And I think if we build, like, we can destroy this now. And then we'll throw up our trade depot because it's early autumn already. Um, where did I put my stairs? Oh, yeah, they're over there. Yeah, we'll just put the trade depot here under this tree, build it out of wood because it's close. I should probably quickly add, we're getting getting to that point where we're going to need more food. So we're going to add another farm plot there. I already had it dug out. Do Let them work. Did I set this up as our... Yeah, I did. I should transport goods soon. I should dig that out soon. 
Well, I think we've reached a pretty good point. Um, basically, I gotta set that up as a dining hall. I think up here, I'm going to make a, didn't mean that to be priority, but we're going to make a um, somewhat roomy barracks. Not ridiculously roomy, but somewhat roomy. Uh, that'll just be for the uh, backup dwarves. What do you mean something has collapsed on the surface? Is somebody is somebody hurt? Any, every, anybody injured? Because I don't have a hospital yet. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do... Uh, hold on, let me scroll back down. What was the last thing I was just doing? Oh yeah, the temple. We assigned the temple. Gonna build a... Yeah, I think that'll be it. I think we'll wrap it up right here. We'll keep it... Uh, Try to keep it around a half an hour mark per episode. Maybe make them a little more watchable if they have to be longer. That's that's how it works. Can't can't control everything in life. So, anyways, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the the planning phase. Um, since we have a little bit of idea of what we're going to do, and uh, yeah, we'll do some trading at the beginning of next episode. And uh, yeah, start uh, start real work on the mountain home. See what we can uh, see what we can accomplish. Thanks everybody.